Hi folks, this is Steve Grzetti, co-founder of MovieBix.com and author of the MovieBix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2023 looking at some of the new features. This one is one of my favorites and it's one that Adobe has dedicated considerable time into working on. A lot of the new features the last couple of years in Photoshop Elements have dealt with adding moving elements to the photo, making them three dimensional and seem to move around in three dimension, or adding elements to the outside that sort of dance around the outside of the picture. So you can upload your finished picture as an animated GIF or an MP4. This I think is one of the coolest. This is one in which you can animate certain parts of the photo and make them seem to move and bring your photo to life. We've got these kids sitting by a pool and if I go up here to the enhance menu at the top of the screen I can select moving elements. All we need to do pretty much is designate what we want to move and I'm going to do that. There's some automatic selections here for sky or background. I don't want to animate the entire background so I'm going to manually select and I can do that by using the brush or the quick selection tool. In this case, I'm going to try the quick selection tool and just sort of paint over the pool. And this is doing a really nice job. It's selecting a little too much, but we can get rid of those areas that we don't want selected. And I can remove the selections I don't want selected either by holding down the option or alt key on my keyboard or using these buttons here on the control panel. I'm going to just use the alt key on my keyboard and deselect this kid's arm, deselect his leg, deselect some of the pool here because I only want to animate the water. And that's pretty good. We can use the shift key to add a little more water here. That's a pretty good selection. Okay, so we've got the water selected. Now all we've got to do is select the direction of the movement. And we do that by clicking on this little arrow down here and then dragging the direction we want the movement to happen. So I'm going to just drag this arrow across here. I want the pool to kind of move in sort of a, a northwesterly direction. And that's kind of it. Let's click on the play button and see how it looks. There it is. Isn't that cool? The pool's moving. Let's stop that movement and I'm just going to try a different movement. We'll uh, select the trash can here in the middle of that arrow, remove direction. I'm just going to add a different arrow. I'm going to have it moving from right to left here. And now we'll click play and it will generate new movement for those elements. There you go. Notice the movement is restricted to the area you selected and it looks very natural. Works especially great with water, works with clouds in the sky, but really a cool way to add movement to the photos. To output the photo, we click on export and we'll have the option of saving it to our hard drive as either a GIF, an animated 10 second GIF or an MP4. Either one of these, you put them up on Facebook or you put them up on social media and they will be animated an animated GIF, you'll see an animated loop that will continue over and over. So a pretty cool tool. One of my favorite new tools in the 2023 version of Adobe Photoshop Elements. If you want to know more about these great tools and all the tools in Adobe Photoshop Elements, be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements 2023. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve, the guy who wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.